Hey, fall is photo taking season, right? You want to snap a family picture while the weather's still warm enough and in enough time to order those annual Christmas cards. So all this week, we're taking you to Family Photo Boot Camp. Brace yourselves, brace yourselves. Our goal is to help you get that perfect shot. We're going to talk locations and outfit selection in the coming days, but first, a focus to help mom feel her very best. You know, one thing I've learned after being in front of the camera for 12 years now is that a few small, very small makeup tricks can really make a difference. Today we get to learn from one of the very best, a woman who taught me how to get my own face camera ready over the years, professional makeup artist and my dear friend, Holly Stone. Welcome, Holly, to the studio. Thank you, Brad. So glad to be here. Season 12. My We're goodness. so glad to have you. You've been with us from the beginning. I've been here from the beginning. I can't believe it. It's, it's still fitting. going strong and better, it's right? It's fitting that you're it's here <laughs> celebrating with us. So here's the thing. Family photos. We don't want to look like someone other than ourselves. No, we don't. We want to be authentic to who we are. So we don't want to go out there with a, a ton of makeup on and we don't want to feel like we have to do a lot of super, a lot of hard tricks. So we're going to do some things really easy today. You've promised little, you've promised doable for even the beginner makeup artist. Even the beginner, yes. Okay. We've got fabulous viewers helping us out. Let's first say hello to Mandy. How are you doing, Mandy? Good. What's the first makeup trick that we're learning through Mandy? First makeup trip is do not use an SPF or a mineral-based powder or foundation brook. So important. Why? because they cause a whitening or an oxidation effect on the skin. So they can change the color of the skin out in sunlight or even indoors. So you need something without SPF. The only time you'll ever hear me not recommend sun protection. Is for family photos. Is it for a family photo. And I recommend the Japanese foundation. It's a really great, it's luminous, but it's not shiny. Mm -hmm. There's no SPF and it goes on really, really nicely. Because we want to glow, but we don't want to shine. Exactly, no shine. And we definitely don't want to look overly white from an SPF. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing these days we used to use the foundation brushes and use a lot of sweeping motions. Mm -hmm. We're actually pressing into the skin now to apply the foundation. Okay. And you're just going to do light sweeps with the color, a color that matches your skin tone. Okay. All right. And second step of this? Powder. You're going to use, again, nothing that is mineral based. I love the Laura Mercier translucent loose powder. Uh -huh. And you use small circular motions to buff it into the skin. Don't just dust because you're going to get dust everywhere on your clothes. You right. want to just do small circular motions to dust and buff that powder into the skin. I'm curious, show of hands, how many of you use a makeup brush to apply your foundation? Most people, that's, yeah. that's key too, right? It is, because it gives you more of an airbrushed finish and less, and sponges also absorb so much of your makeup. Yeah. This will save you about 30% of your foundation, so if you spend money on your foundation, which you should, yeah. then you're gonna use a lot less of it by using a that's brush. That's one thing to invest. Should we set those props down yes, here? Yes, let's go ahead and okay, do that. Okay, Mandy, Thank great job. Brush. Round of applause for Mandy. <laughs> Looking lovely, I won't leave you holding those. Thank you. Okay, this is Chris, and we're talking about what to do with our eyes to make those really stand out. Now, Brooke, this is something that a lot of women struggle with, right? They want to have bright eyes, and let's face it, if we're moms or if we're busy, we are tired, and our eyes are the thing that show it. Amen. There is one trick, very, very common, but we often forget it. And this that is my is, favorite. This is honestly just to take a nude liner. I love the Wonder Pencil by NYX, very inexpensive. Okay. I like it in the medium shade. And what you do is you simply turn the eye underneath. Uh-huh and you line the water well. Why? Because you're you're making this a more of a flesh tone. This is generally where we get red in our uh -huh. eyes. Uh -huh. You're making more of a flesh tone and you're extending the brightness of your white eyeball. It's amazing. Out to your lashes. You taught me this trick years ago and on nights where I haven't gotten all the sleep that I hoped I would get, thank you Emmy, thank you Boston, <laughs> that one little line makes a huge difference. It does, it really opens the eye and like I said, it extends the white of your eye to your lash line and yes. that's usually the area they get red so we're just neutralizing the red. We're Glad to learn that, and Chris is glad she didn't lose an eyeball. Right? Yes, I'm glad. <laughs> nice Very job, nice. steady hand. Thank you so much. All right, let's move forward. Oh, one more here. Yep, one more here. Sorry. We're actually this is we're going to use a neutralizer, not a concealer, Brooke. Not concealer under the eyes for photography. A neutralizer, so it's going to have a yellow tint to it. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser. Okay. You're going to simply dab underneath the eyes because we all have dark circles, right, from lack of sleep and all those exhausting things that we do, being so busy as women. You're simply going to just press it into the skin with your finger. Your finger's going to warm it into the skin underneath your eye and uh -huh. that's going to create a very lighter, brighter, <gasps> luminous eye. Pretty, Chris. Not concealer, a neutralizer. We're not covering, we're counteracting that counteracting blue. Counteracting the blue. Very okay, good. lovely. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, next we'll say hello to Kristen and we're talking about how to buff that skin, right? That's right. And this is the last thing you should do before you get your picture taken because the camera will pick up any harsh line. So you want to give it one final once over. I love the Sephora mini brush. You can also buy it in a big version. I love the mini version, but you are simply going to go and you are going to buff out 
out mm -hmm. every single line, including your eyeshadow. So you're going to close your eye, and you're just going to buff out Wait. all of those harsh lines. Are you ruining our work? Not ruining your work. You're just subtly counteracting all of those harsh lines we have a tendency to draw when we're trying to be a little bit more dramatic. Okay, okay. So you're going to buff every part of your face out. This is the last thing that you do before you go on. And obviously, you're not going to use a hard hand when you're on the Chris eye area. Chris like, this face massage but, feels good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great. But small, <laughs> quick, circular motions just buff out all harsh lines so that the camera just sees a very soft, translucent look. Okay, I think an easy trap is blush, right? We want some color on our face. It's easy to go a little heavy handed this, and we don't want to look like a clown. This is the this is the most common mistake women make, Brooke, is to do a really thick line of blush. Mm -hmm. And this should be the most subtle part of your face. Now, Benefit Dandelion, I'm gonna make a statement. This is good for most skin tones, I and mean, this one color. Now, if you have dark skin, if you're very, very, if you have an ethnic skin or you're really dark, you're gonna to wanna to go one shade darker than this, and uh -huh. I have the product. But the Dandelion is good for all fair to medium skin tones, so it's an ideal shade. That's rare, it's we should say hi to Julie, too, by the way. Hi, Julie, thanks for helping us out, yeah. And all you do is simply, in a light, sweeping motion, you bl bl brush it onto the cheek, but please make sure it's blended. Blend, 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 I can't stay it enough. So many women just err on being too heavy handed with their blush mm -hmm. and this color is ideal. It truly is just a soft, is pretty, peachy, blushy look and it's great for most skin tones so one color fits most. It's rare we can recommend a universal color. I know. This I is so fantastic. It's to a, my shopping I love this cart. product. Yes. Holly, thank you so much. And thanks so for, to our beautiful viewers. Do we feel more equipped now to tackle our own makeup for family photos? I think so. Thank you.